I think there is a reason as to why ever since we got uh, Museveni's government in power in 1986, the speaker and his deputy have always been from the opposition. I think there is a reason. God is sending a message to these parliamentarians. Because even the current uh, parliament, you see that Anita Monk rose from the FDC to the NRM, he became the speaker. Thomas Taiba crossed from the FDC as a youth league leader. He became the deputy speaker. Rebecca Kadaga was once a DP member. He became a, the, the speaker. Okay, The former vice president, uh, Sekandi, was a DP honcho. He became the, the speaker. So I think there is a reason as to why God is getting people from the opposition to make them the Speaker of Parliament. Yes, how are you everyone? How was your day? You can tell me where you're watching this video from by commenting on this video. I also thank you for your continued support. If it weren't you, this channel wouldn't be anywhere in the world. I also take time to read through your comments and also enjoy, I enjoy your deliberations. Yesterday, the, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament went to commiserate with the, the family of the deceased, that is Katolu Buama. And he talked very many things, but among the things he said, he, he gave the reason as to why he left the opposition. He went on to say various reasons as to why he decided to decamp from the opposition to run to government. Before I, I speak on this, let me first give you the video as the Deputy Speaker of Parliament is talking about this. Sajanari, Waringa, Liko FD singer, and Koran Kambona Bona. Nanga Fetu Sturati, a guys who favor Guevacuba, Katukto, Wetatu, Ksawa, Eri, and Gaka transport to Genango Kasaba Banini. Nentan Kakuka business Kangi, Kaprinta Rao Nasarot. Now opposition never any nevampa. Nanko of Kastin. When I gained up with headquarters and enter Sabakase. Never gamba cut with your spy and not sent to Zamsubi. At name of an integer, then in Gaza South Sudan, Mungu Nampa Chayampa, Nanga name Koraka sent. When I come out, I will oppose your spy one seven. At Nategera, the royalty are opposition by Jivadrak of Gavu Borina. Wover and your mafu. First of all, I must acknowledge it is true that some people who are in the opposition with some money, they get blackmail from fellow opposition leaders. It is true. But it is not true that the reason as to why the deputy speaker left the opposition is because of the blackmail. Because I've seen very many people who have stayed in the opposition despite the blackmail, the, the blackmail aimed at them. Why am I saying this? If the people who used to blackmail the deputy speaker as an agent from seven made him go to, to the government, then it is true they were right. Because at the end, because at the end what they talked about was the right thing. Because if someone tells you that you are a witch, and after a certain period of time you are seen doing witchcraft. That means the person who told you that you are a witch was right. Okay? So, the people who told 
uh, the deputy speaker Th Thomas Taiwa that is a spy in the opposition. They were vindicated because at the end of the day, he crossed to the NRM. And that means they were right. Because the opposition is not like a party which is there. If they blackmailed you in the FDC, there were very many opposition parties. DP, JMA, UPC, very many opposition parties. You, someone would join if you are not satisfied in the FDC. But to give that as a reason, is in it in the disingenuous. It means that the people who told you that you are, you are an agent, they were right. Secondly, I think there is a reason as to why ever since we got uh, Museveni's government in power in 1986, the speaker and his deputy have always been from the opposition. I think there is a reason. God is sending a message to these parliamentarians. Because even the current uh, parliament, you see that Anita Moncros from the FDC to the NRM, he became the speaker. Thomas Taiba crossed from the FDC as a youth league leader. He became the deputy speaker. Rebecca Kadaga was once a DP member. He became a, the, the speaker. Okay. The former vice president, uh, Sekandi, was a DP honcho. He became the, the speaker. So I think there is a reason as to why God is getting people from the opposition to make them the Speaker of Parliament. I'm seeing it as a message, not only to, to the government, but to, the, to those who are occupying that position, that you have a role to play. You've seen both sides. You must not be extreme in government to desist, to, to desist ideas from the opposition. In fact, if I had powers, I would make Taiwa the Speaker of Parliament because he's more welcoming, when he's presiding over the house, you, you, you see that he doesn't, he doesn't uh, make his emotions rule him. Okay? Okay? But the reason he gave for joining the, uh, for joining the NRM was this ingenuous and it's not, it was not right. Because very many people have been, have been blackmailed in that way. They have, they have not left the opposition. Okay? At least you would have get he would have given any other reason. He would have said maybe NRM was better, maybe my opportunities were in NRM, maybe I saw that the opposition was off track. But the issue of... But saying that the reason as to why he joined the NRM party, it was because they used to call him a, a spy. It wasn't right. Because even Mugisha Munt was accused of the same. He never joined the government. Okay? So that issue was not uh, correct and it was not right for the Deputy Speaker of Parliament. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.